okay so hello everyone uh, for this video I'm going to be uh, demonstrating how to use my Sun Lord uh, model now the Sun Lord model is an edited version of the Harpy model so if you were to check the animation you will notice that he also has the same animation as the Harpy now for this model, I also added an additional set of animation for a grounded version. So as you can see here, for all of the regular animations, there's a alternative, uh, an alternative counterpart. Now, the alternative counterpart is actually uh, basically sort of a copied version of the animations for the Demoness model. So as you can see here, again, if you check the demonist model, you will notice some similarities. Okay, so now uh, the basic idea here is, for example, you want to have a hero that is able to be uh, that is able to switch between a grounded version and a flying version. So. First things first, import the model. Now, uh, for the uh, uh, for the heroes that I made, basically I used the. For example, I'm going to create a new hero. I basically used the blood mage as a uh, sort of a base model, and then afterwards, I made the uh, modifications. So as you can see here, there are two versions. The standard version is the grounded one and the flying version is the special one. Now, so first things first, you, uh, you use the imported model file and then afterwards, you make uh, a, a, some necessary changes. Now, um, for the animation portion, Remember that the grounded version of the Sun Lord is actually using the animation sets of the uh, Demoness model. So what I did was basically for the art portions, copy some uh, data from the Demoness unit. So there, so basically I copied some of the data particularly the ones referring to the art data towards the grounded version of the hero. Another important uh, data you can copy from the demoness uh, unit are the animation box swing and animation damage points as well as movements I suppose and basically everything else uh, you can edit it the way you want it. okay now uh, since I'm using the grounded version as the standard form uh, you may you should put the um, what do you call this the flying form under the dependency equivalents so this uh, flying ver for the flying version so basically the same but this time um, because it's using the animation of the harpy so you have to copy some data particularly regarding the art data from the um, harpy units here so basically I copied some of the art data towards the uh, my flying version of the Sun Lord so the shadows etc again as well as the um, animation data for the attacks and more importantly for the movement so take note importantly since it's flying you should uh, take note of this com combat targeted as air unit and then the movements the height the, f the height the base etc and especially movement type 
set it to fly and for everything else leave it is uh, you can edit it the way you want okay now in order to be able to switch between the two you need an ability okay, um, in this case for this example I'm going to just use a standard ability not a hero ability so as you can see here for the two versions you have the so-called flying form um, the flying form is basically an edited version of the storm uh, well for this example I used the storm crow form of the uh, druid of the talon as a basis so basically importantly since again the standard unit is the grounded version while the alternate uh, form is the flying version so i made some necessary changes here um now take note aside from the um, animation sets from the harpy and the demoness i also uh, use the morph ability of the um the gargoyle unit so as you can see here um this animation act is actually used by the gargoyle when it um switches between the stone form and the regular version and then i made my own counterpart so basically from um from the ground to the flying version Again, important, so uninterruptible, immediate landing, immediate takeoff. So basically, I copied some information from the stone form. Again, it's also up to you if it costs mana and if there are requirements. For this one, I didn't put any requirements. And then make sure you put the important information. Okay okay so time to test it oops not that one so you might as well put the regular the grounded version okay so it's time to test it okay so time to test the model now by the way it's also important to make sure that the uh, flying version and the grounded version both have the same set of hero abilities so that um, as far as I can tell um, you might end up with bugs or crash the game if you have a uh, different sets of abilities between two units hero abilities import especially okay so anyway so let's test it so we have the <laughs> version and then grounded form okay so as you can see here we have the grounded form now unfortunately um, there's this uh, annoying bug that I can't just figure out so if you're just standing still and then use the flying form it's as if he's standing in the air and then if you use the grounded form while standing still again he ends up flying on the ground I'm not sure why that happens but if you were to move around kind of fixes this uh, fixes it now if you were to click on the ability while uh, moving uh, you will notice that the transition is much more fluid so for example again so um, at this stage not really sure how to fix this but again uh, it's just a minor um, minor glitch I guess now let's see if let's test this so we have a melee unit here so for the grounded form it can attack me and then when I use the flying form, 
the melee units can no longer attack me. Okay. Now, mind you, um, this guide can also uh, you can also use this guide for the um, other harpy models that I've made for the reskins and even the um, Arakawa Shadow Lord. And then you can make your own hero with their own sets of abilities, their own stats, etc.